easy trick to calculate molarity. Firstly, let me quickly revise the concept of molarity. We define molarity as the number of moles of solute dissolved in 1 liter solution. The formula of molarity is M equals N upon V, where M is the molarity of a solution, N is the number of moles of a solute, V is the volume of a solution. For example, consider that I take 6 moles of HCl in this beaker. Now I add water to this beaker until the water level reaches to 1 liter mark. Here in this beaker, the volume of a solution is 1 liter. We know that we have dissolved 6 moles of HCl in this 1 liter solution. So the molarity of this solution is 6 m. Therefore remember that molarity measures the number of moles of a solute dissolved in 1 liter solution. Also note it down that 1 liter is equal to 1 dm cube. 1 dm cube is equal to 1000 cm cube or 1000 milliliter. Hence remember all these important points. Now how can we calculate molarity using super easy trick? Well, consider these numerical problems of molarity. Here in this question, 0.5 moles of sodium chloride is dissolved. So the number of moles of solute N equals 0.5 mole. Secondly, the volume of solute is 400 ml. Remember that a volume of a solute is given in milliliter or centimeter cube. We have to convert it to liter. Let me repeat it. A volume of a solute is given in milliliter or centimeter cube. We have to convert it to liter. Now to do so, the easy trick is to move the decimal point three times to the left are dividing milliliter by thousand. After moving decimal point three times to the left, I get 0.4 liter. We already know that molarity M equals N upon V. Here N equals 0.5 mole and V is 0.4 liter. I plug in these two values in this equation. After calculation, I get 1.25 mole per liter are just 1.25 m. Thus the molarity of this solution is 1.25 m. Now in this question, 0.9 mole of HCl is dissolved. So the number of moles of a solution is 0.9 mole. Secondly, the volume of a solution is 500 cm cube. I convert it to liter. To do so, I move the decimal point three times to the left. I get 0.5 liter. We already know that molarity of a solution is M equals N upon V. The value of N is 0.9 mole and the value of V is 0.5 mole. I plug in these two values in this equation. After calculation, I get 1.8 mole per liter are just 1.8 m. So the molarity of this solution is 1.8 m. Now in this question, 0.2 moles of HNO3 is dissolved. So the number of moles of a solute is 0.2 mole. Secondly, the volume of a solute is 200 ml. I move the decimal point three times to the left. I get 0.2 liter. We know that the formula of molarity is M equals N upon V. Here N is 0.2 mole and V is 0.2 liter. I plug in these values in this equation. After calculation, I get 1 mole per liter or just 1 M. Thus the molarity of this solution is 1 M. Now let me teach you some hard level questions of molarity. Consider these numerical problems of molarity. Here in this question, instead of moles of a solute, mass of a solute is given like 2 gram of sodium hydroxide. Remember that in such type of numericals, we have to convert the mass of a solute to number of moles of a solute. Firstly, I find the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. I write 
sodium plus oxygen plus hydrogen. The molar mass of sodium is 23 gram. The molar mass of oxygen is 16 gram. And the molar mass of hydrogen is 1 gram. After addition, I get 40 gram. So the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram. Now to find the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, I divide the given mass of sodium hydroxide by its molar mass. The given mass of sodium hydroxide is 2 gram and the molar mass of sodium hydroxide is 40 gram. After calculation, I get 0.05 mole. Hence the number of moles of a solute N equals 0.05 mole. Secondly, the volume of a solution is 600 cm cube. I convert it to liter. I move the decimal point three times to the left. I get 0.6 liter. We know that molarity of a solution is M equals N upon V. The value of N is 0.05 mole and the value of V is 0.6 liter. I plug in these two values in this equation. After calculation, I get 0.083 mole per liter or just 0.083 M. So the molarity of this solution is 0.083 M. Now in this problem, only mass of a solute HNO3 is given. Firstly, I find the molar mass of HNO3. I write H plus N plus 3 oxygen because there are 3 atoms of oxygen. We know that the molar mass of hydrogen is 1 gram. The molar mass of nitrogen is 14 gram. There are 3 atoms of oxygen and the molar mass of oxygen is 16 gram. After addition, I get 63 gram. So the molar mass of HNO3 is 63 gram. Now to find the number of moles of HNO3, I divide given mass of HNO3 by its molar mass. The given mass of HNO3 is 4 gram and its molar mass is 63 gram. After calculation, I get 0.06 mole. Secondly, the volume of a solution is 80 milliliter. I convert it to liter. To do so, I move the decimal point three times to the left. I get 0.08 liter. We already know that molarity of a solution is M equals N upon V. The value of N is 0.06 mole and the value of V is 0.08 liter. I plug in these two values in this equation. After calculation, I get 0.75 mole per liter or just 0.75 M. So the molarity of this solution is 0.75 M. Lastly, pause the video and try to solve this numerical problem. Firstly, I find the molar mass of HCl. I write hydrogen plus chlorine. The molar mass of hydrogen is 1 gram and that of chlorine is 35.5 gram. After addition, I get 36.5 gram. Now to find the number of moles of a solute, I divide given mass of HCl by its molar mass. The given mass is 20 gram and the molar mass is 36.5 gram. After calculation, I get 0.55 mole. Secondly, the volume of a solution is 0.5 dm cube. We already know that 1 liter is equal to 1 dm cube. So 0.5 dm cube is equal to 0.5 liter. Also we know that molarity is equal to N upon V. I plug in these two values in this equation. After calculation, I get 1.1 mole per liter or just 1.1 M. Thus the molarity of this solution is 1.1 M. Therefore, Using this simple trick, we can easily calculate the molarity of any solution.